Take it out. Nice. Come on, jump on me. Good. You used to see my predecessor, Mr. Andrews. I once saw Mr. Andrews. Yes. I gather you two didn't exactly see eye to eye. You're obviously aware of how much weight uh, Freddy, of how much weight Freddy here has put on, and that her growth rate has uh, noticeably accelerated, and that the results of the allergy tests show quite clearly that there's now a much less violent reaction to certain substances, which previously were, to say the least, taboo. Most noticeably, animal hair. So, Mr. Andrews' ordinances weren't so far off the mark. We ignored everything Mr. Andrews said. Didn't we, Freddy? What's she looking for now? I don't know. I thought one of her legs was filled. Yep. Her near arm's filled. Never heard of it. It's the origin, I tell you. We don't have any history on the car. We will have when you find the engine and chassis number. 
How much did they say to restore that Sotheby's car? Seventy grand, wasn't it? Yeah, a little more now. They paid eighty for it and another seventy to divvy it up. Bye bye, one hundred and fifty thousand, which is what you'd expect to pay for a Type Thirty Seven fully restored. We paid twenty-five thousand. You paid twenty-five thousand. You found it. You made the deal. Yeah, you might be counting your chickens. Come on, Hilly. There's nothing to it. You wouldn't have to say anything. You never know. You might even enjoy it. I wouldn't. All you'd have to do is get up there and play. I was telling Hilly about this talent contest in the local paper. Village Hall this weekend. 50 quid first prize. Anybody want any more chicken? No? With your talent, you'll probably win it. Maybe Hilly doesn't want to enter. That's just a thought. If you won, if you went in for it, call the vet out. Could. Could what? Nothing. Call the vet out for Blackberry. Off. Is there something wrong with the horse? No. Yes, there is. Look, Hilly, if it's a question of money... There's nothing wrong with Blackberry. Her near hind leg is all swollen and she's not eating. Oh, well, then, I think we should call the vet. I can't afford no vet. Hilly. Hilly. Look, suppose I lend you the money until the competition. Because you're bound to win it. And that way you wouldn't be in anybody's debt. What's the verdict? Well, everything indicates lymphangitis. Uh, I thought you said it was a leg. Oh, it is. <laughs> In the old days, it was called uh, greasy leg or Monday morningitis because mm. uh, some horses were prone to get it after standing in at the weekend. Yes, well, well Blackberry's been run out all the time every night. Is it serious? We'll see how she responds to the antibiotic. If it is what I think it is, what I hope it is, she'll be as right as rain in three, four days. And if it isn't? There's a danger of it attacking the whole lymphatic system. And, well, it can get quite nasty. Yeah, next we got uh, Young Illy. Well, uh, you all know Young Illy, at least most of you do, and uh, she's also going to play something for us, except this time it's the piano. And Young Illy is going to play... I don't know if I know what she's going to play anyway. She's going to play the piano, so let's give a big hand to Young Illy. <laughs>
15. There was no contest. 20. It was a walkover. Should have been stopped in the first round. Uh, I thought the little country was very good. Where'd you get that? Was that mine? <laughs> <laughs> it was out of his depth. This girl is a star. I love the little Richard bit. What a gimmick. Bark standing up. Regional final. Here we come. Bebop, Balula, she's my. Don't count your chickens, Fengali. Hilly, you're going to go in for the regional final, aren't you? Mr. Seven. Morning. Morning. Proselytizing. No. It's what they pay you for, isn't it? Beat the ecological trap. Even so. No. No, I particularly like this bit about the chemical pest controls in the forest destroying the natural controls. Mm. Well, as long as you don't think I'm banging on. No. I think you should bang on. We need constantly reminding that we share this planet. Unless I'm very much mistaken, it's Maori's disease. What's the treatment? The disease is a bit of a mystery. We don't know the cause, so we can't find an effective treatment. It isn't always fatal, of course. Horses have recovered. But the chances are slim. Negligible. You won't tell Hilly, will you? In fact, I'd rather you didn't mention this to anyone. I particularly don't want it getting back to my daughter, Freddie. She's asthmatic. So am I. I'm an out-of-lady pets mob, and I haven't had a proper attack for, oh, six, seven years now. Well, we'll do our best for her. She's a lovely animal. Freddie loves Blackberry. Anyway, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Okay. As I said, if you need me before, I'm on air call. 
Oh, as a matter of interest, Lady Pat's put the horse on the box. Good. Why not? lemonade. You must tell me how you make it. Who's the letter from? I don't know. Well, it must be from someone. Isn't. It's from this place. What do they say, this place? It's from the person who saw me at the concert. Wants me to go and see her. At this place. What's that word? Scholarship. Scholarship. Would you want, uh, would you want us to do the restoration? Uh, no, I wouldn't want you to do the restoration. In that case, we'd be talking about, um, Eighty-five thousand, sir. No, we're not, Mr. Bate. I know what the Sotheby's car went for. I ought to. I was the underbidder. Well, a scholarship to the Royal Academy would mean, if you won it, a proper formal training. And if you made the grade, a proper career as a musician. Would I get any money? No. Not until you'd finished. But it wouldn't cost you anything either. They'd pay for everything, including your living expenses. Well? I don't know. No. I think this is one for Lady Pat. In my opinion, Harriet, she's not as bad as she seems. 
Now, I'm not saying she's not bad, because she is. What I mean is, yes, this isn't allergy triggered. The result of a respiratory infection. This one's more catatonic, traumatic. Yes. Yes, I know we had to deal with that sort of thing in London, like when her rabbit died, for instance. That's the sort of stuff. No, we can't deal on the car without verification. He doesn't want no verification. You mean so far he hasn't asked for any? He hasn't even offered on it once to bring his missus back. Well, maybe by that time we'll have the provenance. Oh, bugger the provenance, Jack. He's a yank. And cross garage. Right? Right. Hold on. It's for you, the Bugatti Register. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. I like to think of you in here. It's turned out just right, hasn't it? Mm. Well, lemonade. No fear. I'll only want to whittle on the way home. Has Hilly mentioned her letter to you? Lord, yes. She's talked about nothing else. I think she should have a shot at it, don't you? Can't do her any harm. No, I agree, if that's what Hilly wants, but... I think perhaps it would be better if nobody made any mention of this to Freddy. As you like. No. Oh, oh, really? So? No, on the contrary, you've been you've been more than helpful. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, bye. So, am I going to be as rich as Croesus, or am I? Damn it! The chassis and engine numbers don't match. The chassis isn't listed on the club register, neither is the engine. They even cast doubt on the authenticity of the body. The car's a dog. A mongrel. Oh, thanks, Jack. Thanks very much. Has Hilly mentioned anything about going to London? No, I don't think so. But uh, anyway, I mean, we, we can't ask Hilly not to try for the scholarship because of Freddie, can we? I, I mean, we can't ask her to throw away the best chance she may have in her life because of our daughter. The trouble is, if she goes to London, I know what it will do to Freddie. How's the horse this morning? Oh, she's eating up. Good. What are you listening to? Just some piano playing. Schubert's impromptu. I hope you didn't mind. I borrowed it. No, that's fine. But best not to let Freddie see. Here. That's not why she's ill, is it? Is what why she's ill? Because of London. Because I might be going. No. That's not why she's here. It wasn't always fatal. Mm, the state she was in, really. I'd have lain you any odds. Could have been the antibiotics, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> Very much doubted.
Is it hilly? Can't park here, sir. Yeah, I'm moving now. All right. We would like to see Hilly alone, please. Yes, of course. Of course. Hilly, this is Sir William Argent, our principal, and Miss Gaiman, our senior piano tutor. I'm looking forward to hearing you play, young lady. As you know, Miss French spotted you at the regional talent final. And I understand you have quite a prodigious ability. Good. So, what have you decided to play for your audition? A tune. And what tune would that be, Hilary? A new one I learnt, and my name's Illy. Well, when you're ready, young lady. Well done. Yes, indeed. Most accomplished. Do you read music, Philly? How did you come to learn that? Like I always do. Be listening. No one showed you? No one showed you the fingering or the inner harmonies? Oh, it's remarkable. Hilly, do you know any more of that? That tune? Well, that's all Lady Pat said I was to play. Yes, well, that's understandable. They, the rest of the impromptu is a little beyond the range of most beginners. I ain't no beginner. I've been playing the piano since I was three. Even so, young lady, the rest of the impromptu is far from easy. <laughs> yes, it is far from easy. I myself have problems with it. <laughs> <laughs>
So what do you enjoy most about London, Hilly? Dunno. What was that big shop? Harrods. Going up and down that moving staircase. But he's been taken to hospital. Hilly's going to London isn't the end of the world. Yeah. Hilly took it badly. Yeah. She's never seen Freddie so ill. She was frightened. Didn't know what she told me. She's never been inside a hospital. Jack. Yeah. Not a word from that gang. I could have sworn you were hooked. And you'd have sold it to him, would you, Jeff? Knowing the car was a dog. I could try to recoup my investment. It means I have. And that's all you know about the car? It was an executor's sale. Their main concern was to raise some capital for the estate. So, who's complaining, right, honey? It's not every day of the week you find a Type 37 Bugatti. No, it isn't. I, I wish we did have some history on the car. Oh, that's OK, Mr. Bolt. I know my Bugattis. I've got three at home, a Type 13, a 30, and a Type 35B, which is why I am prepared to offer you 60000 on the car. The Sotheby's car went for seventy-two. Sixty-five thousand sterling. Sixty-eight. Okay, seventy-two thousand flat. Twenty-five thousand pounds. He was prepared to offer you seventy-two. What happened? Oh, don't tell me. You'd have done exactly the same thing, Jeff. Bugger. But if you came clean, I'll come the 25 grand. When I told him the car wasn't genuine, he said, too bad. Even so, he's got a queue of customers willing to pay 100,000 for a type of type 37. He asked me what I wanted. I said, all you wanted was your money back. Fancy moving to California. I don't think we need to do anything so radical. There's his shopping list for the next 12 months.
I brought the paper and the letters up. Thanks. Really? There's one for you. Who's it from? Who do you think? They don't want me. What do you mean? Of course they want you. They don't. Well, what reason do they give? They just don't want me. Anyhow, it's not as if I'd have gone even if they had wanted me. I thought you were dying to go to London. Nah. I only went to London because now no one can say I ain't bloody been there. Fair enough. Ellie, if you're going upstairs, could you give that to Freddie? Freddie. Hello, honey. How are you feeling today? Today? Actually, I'm feeling a lot better. What you did with Freddie? Yes. What did you send? Well, Lady Pat sent a piece of her hair and a, a nail clipping, and later on, a scrape of skin. By first class post to Aberdeen. So he puts them in his radionics box and focuses healing energies on the patient, distance no object. Yes. It's what I was saying before about electricity in the life field. You... You accept that your body is some sort of electrical field. Yeah. And that whenever another electrical charge is brought into that field, then a reaction occurs. Well, that, I think, is what happens with radionics. I mean, every... Living thing has its own electrical field, which is influenced by the changing forces of the Earth. And healing energies is just another kind of electrical charge. So why not? Why shouldn't we be influenced by an electrical impulse which is quite purposefully directed at us? <laughs> 